I'm in awe. She's just killing it. She's one of the more intentional people I've ever met in my life. Channing Tatum is Zoe Kravitz's biggest fan. No, seriously, Channing actually follows his girlfriend's fan accounts on Instagram. It's happening. Here we are. Before the lovebirds made their relationship public, some eagle-eyed fans noticed that Chan was following some Zoe superfan accounts. Now the actor covers Vanity Fair's February issue, and inside the mag, he weighs in on all that, admitting that he has no chill. Quote, I was just seeing what she was up to. Also, I didn't know anyone would know. It came from a really personal place. The two first met after he read an early draft of her flick, P. Island. Zoe had Channing in mind to play the island's owner, a sinister tech billionaire. Zoe, of course, said that you were her first choice for this film. So why were you shocked that you were asked to play this part when you were her first choice for the film? Without reviewing certain things, I definitely don't play any one that I've ever played before in, in, this, in this movie. Channing tells Vanity Fair that they lost touch after that meeting, but two and a half years later, when Zoe had a new draft of the script, they reconnected, and Channing was impressed. Quote, I was like, wow, you are really saying something. That's the kind of person you want to create with. That really has this perspective they're constantly digging for. Chan signed on for the project, and in 2021, the two sparked romance rumors when they were spotted riding through the streets of New York City on a joint bike ride. A few months later, he supported his leading lady at the premiere of her flick, The Batman, alongside Jason Momoa, Zoe's stepdad. The two of your guys and your fam giving you a shout out. What does it mean to have them in your corner giving you that support? Well, you know, we're in New York tonight and I live here. I have a lot of friends and family here tonight, so I feel very lucky to have a lot of people who love me here. And while they haven't said a whole lot about their love, they haven't shied away from praising each other's work. Zoe makes her directorial debut with P. Island, and when E.T. caught up with Channing last year, he admitted he advised Zoe not to direct and star in the film, something he did with Dog. Maybe we could have some fun. Is that a deal? Shake? <laughs> well, I know you gave Zoe some advice on it, too. Is that what you said to her? Like, don't do both, yeah, just well, direct. I, I just don't think you enjoy it. Like, I didn't get to enjoy really directing, yeah. figuring out the next shots and like what the next decisions are and, and like what they're getting. And, and yeah. you know, I'm sort of in my own little world over there. And I just, I, I think that you need twice the time if you're going to be in the movie. And Zoe told E.T. she was glad she listened to her man. I'm absolutely not starring in on, in that film. It's hard enough to, to, to act on, on your own. I don't know how people do both. I will not be in the movie. I'll just be directing it one thing at a time. So safe to say, whether they're collaborating in love or at work, these two are hashtag couple goals.